six out of Sandy Hook School. Call is indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. Somehow, the idea that little children had been shot made it worse. We heard a lot more gunshots and the ambulance came, but then the policeman directed us to run out of the building and go to the fire department. Elementary schools are supposed to be safe places. So how could 20-year-old Adam Lanza have entered this one in Newtown, Connecticut on Friday morning and killed 26 people and then himself? And who could comprehend the horror of being summoned to a massacre by text message or robocall, then being told, your child is dead? She is an incredible person, and I'm so blessed to be her dad. Robbie Parker's daughter, Emily, was one of the 20 dead children. Now they are no longer anybody's children, everybody's children. We know their names. Eight boys, 12 girls, all first graders. And we know that Dawn Hoxsprung, the principal, used to dress up in costumes to make her students smile. And the teacher, Victoria Soto, died sheltering her class. The details are starting to emerge about Adam Lanza and his mother, Nancy. Marsha Lanza is Adam Lanza's aunt. I know she had issues with school. Um, she eventually wound up homeschooling him. She battled with the school district in what capacity. I'm not 100% certain if it was behavior, if it was learning disabilities. I really don't know, but he was a very, very bright boy. He was smart. Smart, but troubled? We've heard that before, and we've watched before. As the story plays out in slow motion, like some endless TV police procedural. As a country, we have been through this too many times. This time with the president playing his part. And we're going to have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this, regardless of the politics. But what? When? Exactly the same thing has been said every time it's happened. The shootings haven't stopped, and politics has always gotten in the way. Will Newtown be any different? It's already been ranked the second worst school shooting in American history. Virginia Tech in 2007 was the worst. 32 people died there. At Columbine High School in 1999, 13 people were killed, another two dozen wounded. But since when have school shootings had their own grisly greatest hits list? What we see is patterns of one of these incidents inspiring, if you will, disturb people who are already thinking about doing something like that um, to do copycat incidents or to enhance their own incident to make it worse. This even has a name, the Werther Effect. According to John Miller, former FBI spokesman and now a senior correspondent for CBS News. How do we stop it? Can we stop it? Well, there's a series of chicken and egg questions there. Is it the security of the physical premises? Is it the gun laws? Is it us? Adam Lanza's mother, we've learned, was a gun enthusiast. She owned the guns her son used to kill her and the rest of the Newtown victims. Will this latest incident change any minds about gun control? Probably not. According to a Pew Research Center survey, before and after the Aurora, Colorado theater shootings in July, attitudes remained virtually unchanged. A Gallup poll last year showed that support for a ban on handguns has actually gone down dramatically over the last 50 years to a record low of 26 percent. Now listen to this FBI statistic. It was this past Black Friday, the shopping day after Thanksgiving, when we hit the all-time record in history for gun sales. Over that three-day period, they sold 283,423 guns in the United States. And on Thursday, the day before Newtown, the Michigan State Legislature passed a bill that will allow concealed weapons in, among other places, schools. The governor is still deciding whether to sign it. Are we headed toward an environment in this country where we have fortress kindergarten? 
We don't need to train kindergartners to throw pencils and backpacks and armed intruders and to have a SWAT team and a metal detector at every door. Kenneth Trump is president of National School Safety and Security Services in Cleveland. Parents want to know two things. Number one, what steps did you have in place to prevent an incident and how well prepared were you uh, to respond when a crisis occurs? Well, many incidents can and have been prevented in, in school violence. Unfortunately, and we've gotten a lot better since Columbine. Unfortunately, there's still going to be those that slip through the cracks. The front class has been out of the school. They're unsure why. Adam Lanza, it turns out, broke into Sandy Hook Elementary School. What will become of the terrified children who ran from the school and the families of the dead? For some, not all, the trauma they've experienced could have lasting physical, not just emotional effects. There's a couple of studies right now looking at IQ uh, where uh, kids with trauma have uh, lower IQ than those who don't. Dr. Glenn Sachs is chairman of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry at New York University Langone Medical Center and an expert on childhood trauma. It's related in a strong way to uh, problems with depression, uh, suicide, um, pro obesity, uh, even some cancer rates, heart disease, and that's why there's so much attention going into uh, helping people who've experienced trauma. Already, the inevitable shrines have appeared. The vigils have begun. Newtown is wearing its broken heart on its sleeve. But we've seen this before, too. If only grieving in public could fix things, could end the killings. But in the end, hugs are not enough.